Hey everyone, Heather here. I'm not in Colorado. I'm a little sleep deprived because Ben and I have been, uh, we flew out to Alaska and got in at four in the morning, Colorado time. And now we're uh, here checking out some, some of the land and some, um, some different properties and things. So it's pretty neat. And it's very, very cold. <laughs> cold is an understatement, but you can see behind me, it's just absolutely beautiful forests. It's really, 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 really pretty and very, very cold. <laughs> um, so I wanted to stay consistent with doing my 100 day challenge of 100 days of testimony to bring a little more light, a little more healing, a little more happiness to the world. And I was praying about what I should bear testimony of today. And then I just had the feeling of every time I, I, I want to do this, I always want to share what he would have me share. And I really listen to what I feel like the spirit leads me to share. And so today it's just about that. It's about listening to the spirit, listening to what it guides us to do, and then following and taking action on that. And to me, that's an incredible mercy from our heavenly father that he gives us the gift of the Holy, Holy ghost or the spirit, um, to guide us and to give us that direction and personal revelation in our lives. And that every time we listen to it, it's always a blessing and a benefit to us as well as other people. All right. I'm going to walk back this direction now. <laughs> um, and for me, when I was facing, uh, cancer while pregnant and, um, I had multiple doctors tell me that I needed to abort our baby to save my life. Um, and that keeping her, I was risking my life. And for me, I just, that never set with me. Um, and I remember going to our heavenly father in prayer with my husband, Ben, and praying if that was okay, if it was okay to keep our baby and how we could make it through. And having that revelation given to us that that was the right course for us personally, that that was a good decision for us to make. And that gave me that peace and that strength to go forward with that decision, even though it was very, very challenging. And I'm so grateful that he gave us that answer and he gave us that clarity and he gave us that feeling of peace and warmth and love um, about that to give us the confidence to go forward and do those things. And I've learned, uh, honestly, I used to be a lot more judgmental. I'm just being really honest, <laughs> um, about other people and the kind of the choices that they make. And I would feel like, well, that's not really his commandments or he wouldn't really tell us to do that, that kind of thing. But now going through what I've gone through, I really, truly don't have judgment for what people, uh, what they feel like is the right course for them and for their journey in their life. And just like I would never want, and people did judge me, which is okay, um, for the choices that we made to keep our baby. Um, I just know that every single one of us has the ability to go to our maker, our heavenly father, and to get direction from him. And so our paths are all going to look very different. And the same family that might be facing the same thing could receive a completely different answer than what we did. And that's okay because that's their journey and that's what he has for them. And so I'm grateful for personal revelation. I'm grateful for a heavenly father that loves us so much that he can guide and direct us in our challenges, in our day-to-day -day life. And even in simple things like this, of like, what should I bear testimony today? And I just felt drawn to, to share this. And every day I strive to listen to the spirit and follow it. I don't always do it, <laughs> but I know every time I do, I'm very much blessed and I can feel his love in my life. So I'm very grateful for the gift of the Holy Ghost and the revelation that he provides us through his son. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. Off to go warm up. <laughs> See you guys.